Hello again, everybody. Sebastian Keynes here. Welcome to my channel. As we close out the Global Launch Weekend, I will leave you with a couple of tips if you are advancing in your storyline and you are making your character stronger and you are now hopefully done with summons. If you were one of the ones that really pushed this weekend to, to get some summons, you should have top 50, 60 summons just from doing the the quest and doing all this uh, side stuff and the the, the, the lunch uh, tournament. Uh, you've had the accessibility to get rewards here. And as you progress through the campaign, that you also got the opportunity to get the rewards up top here. So you've already had enough chances to summon uh, heroes that would help you through to progression. And as I've told you earlier, uh, focus on your marksmen, hope on your, your mages. They're the ones that are going to carry you through a lot of the early content and setting this thing up. And you're going to, you know, if you can get a couple healers in there. I'm, I'm still using Barut. Uh, and prior, primarily it's because he's a lord. So he gives extra stats to some of the, the other heroes that I'm using. And uh, it, besides the healers, you know, just have a, a defender or two in the background, just in case you do need them for, for some type of content in the game. As you can see, I haven't really targeted any six stars yet. Those are uh, very hard resources to get. So I was using primarily most of my XP to level up the champions that I'm primarily using. But throughout the week, that's what I'll be doing. It's pretty much just leveling uh champions and making fodder to push some of them to 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 six star if possible i think i, I have a put a, a defined core here that i will not since i will not be summoning during the week in your progression uh so one of the things that uh you're gonna probably see you're gonna have some legendary gear drops from the quest and you're gonna have the opportunity to pick up some epic pieces so most of the primary uh, heroes that I'm using here, as you can see, I am placing epic gear on them. And that is because uh, I am taking advantage of the Dwarven Association. And I suggest that you try to do this as efficiently as possible as well in the early game, because there are a lot of resources here that you are going to need to progress and you really don't want to spend too much of your xp trying to get these resources so what i'm talking about you there's going to be gear especially if you can buy with gold not gems if you can buy with gold take that epic gear don't don't waste your resources trying to farm the epic gear because what you are trying to do is level up your champions so you can get into the you can get into the mythic drops that is when uh, uh farming for gear becomes efficient so if you have the opportunity to come here and get some of the, the epic gear just to help you push through come and get it the other thing is auto fights i love those auto fights if you can get them with gold get them with gold you can also get insignias if uh, you want to save some of your stamina from blessings i would suggest that you do you get some pretty good chunk of gold you, it's not going to disappear you right away. It won't disappear you until you start leveling those artifacts, myth, uh, mythic artifacts to 16. Then you'll start swinging. And you can also get some fodder if you need it. Because in my case now that I'm done summoning, I'm going to get some fodder from, from the Dwar Dwarven Association. So I can have some uh, fodder ready to go in case I do level anything up. If any rare crystals come out of the discount for gems, yes, you do get it. So that's what I've been doing in that regard here. We're also trying to get my I'm trying to get my guild to push up a little bit. Hopefully we can unlock level three and level four here. Primarily level three, once they get some of the stages on hard campaign done, it open up the gold raid uh, dungeon. And then we can get some gold if we start running low. But the other one that I've been trying to push really hard, and I know that some of you may not be fans of it. But I'm trying to use as many of my arena tickets as possible because I do want these coins, these arena coins. And why do I want the arena coins? It is because they're great resources in the arena merchant that I have been buying to help me progress my characters. Of course, I do try to get the daily huge stamina pot. 
uh the summoning crystals when they become available every week i'm hoping to have enough coin for that but the other thing that i've been getting is this epic skill dust and epic skill crystals when they are available and uh those those are resources that you are going to need to elevate the skills of your epic uh champions and so as you will see in the early uh let me pick on one that i haven't uh, like him so here's an example so if i go to random migrate the first one is going to be 10 and then it's going to scale up and eventually you're going to hit a stage where you're going to need 20 and then you're going to hit a stage where then you need the epic skill crystal so the cost to keep upgrading the skills of your um, champions will eventually increase and so that's why i'm trying to take advantage of the dwarven association there to try to get the latter stages of the skill upgrades for these champions and lastly unless you're starting to play the game during the week save your summons save your rare crystals save your gems do everything possible to hold off until this upcoming weekend where they have announced that there will be a special 10x for salazar for Celis and this phenomenal lady here. Silitu. Silitu is a fighter class champion. Uh, she has a phenomenal kit and uh, she deals damage to one enemy and she can actually target airborne units. One of the only fighters in the game that can do that. She has an ultimate that when it's trigger, it expands her range of attack and she also inflicts burns each uh, uh, attack actually deals through damage and not only that she has a very a crazy passive where it charges uh energy her energy uh when she's not attacking so if she's not active her energy is going to charge and it can actually increase the damage up to 25 percent and then that energy would concern in one second integrals when she starts attacking. She's a phenomenal, phenomenal legendary. SS plus. I mean, I think people will say that the ones that have, have her in the Forerunner account and, and the Forerunner servers will say she's S plus. Phenomenal character. So I would try to save your summons at the opportunity to add her to your account this upcoming weekend. So with that, I will say thank you for watching. Click and uh, like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And I will see you all next time on Watch Our Wives.